Hello everyone, welcome back to Rogue Fluff's Hard Mod Leveling Guide. So, there's a gap. I, I would even say there's a black hole somewhere between level 30 and level maybe 60. Since you don't have that fast pace, cool, oh my god, it's I'm learning the game feeling of level 1 to 20, where every level new talents appear and your gameplay changes all the time. And there's not the new content that starts at level 60, as in uh, Burning Crusade and Leech King and so on. There is a gap, and I think Blizzard is trying to close it up with faster leveling. So basically what happens is if you stick to the leveling zones which are appropriate for your level, you pretty much one-shot everything that's in your way. So there's absolutely no resistance, which turns the whole um, leveling experience to a bit soul-sucking. And your other options are to do PvP, but again, uh, at lower levels in the tens, meaning uh, 21, 22, 31, 32, uh, maybe even up until 35 or 25 or so on, you are very low level compared to everyone else in the in the battle group. So that that makes it a bit hard, and it makes it a bit uh, frustrating. And your other options is to just use the look for group tool and just instantly pop in and out of instances with random people. So you might meet up with a nice group and maybe continue a couple, uh, a couple more instances with them. But as you've seen, the resistance in there is quite low as well. So I don't feel that that gives you uh, a nicer or a more uh, fulfilling uh, feeling of leveling. So what I'm gonna do is uh, start doing solo dungeons just to get the achievements and I think that solo dungeon uh, at these levels um, well basically you will have to learn how to use your character you won't be able to spam your comma slash one slash two key and just wait for everything to die because that's what you do in instances in these levels no one dies in these levels and you won't have to go through the soul-sucking experience of questing in old content where there's absolutely no uh, resistance to your to your character and so you will get the achievements you will get the nice gear and you will get some stuff that you can sell on auction house and basically will allow you to keep solo leveling through dungeons uh, until level 60 where everything changes and suddenly there's a lot of content because it's new content it's uh, burning crusade and it's leech king and so on uh, so i i hope you enjoy uh this kind of little grind that i had i was i was going to the badlands at about 10 levels lower but uh i was looking for a dagger to drop after i don't know maybe two three hours there uh, it didn't drop and I was still too uh, low level to hit the dungeon, as you as you maybe uh, will see in the video. Now, don't get me wrong, yeah, I, I like the grind. I really love the grind. It's part of the game. It's part of the whole vibe of walking around, exploring this incredible world, uh, killing creatures and hoping something cool will drop. Uh, even if it doesn't drop, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. The grind is is part of the game. It's part of the fun, but it's kind of you're grinding alone. I mean, I'm on Draenor uh, Horde side, which is a very full, very live server. It always has been, and I honestly think I met maybe three people walking from Undercity to the Badlands, and that's like a couple hours walk. So eventually after the grind, you know, I just 
went in and did Old Doom with a group, uh, with a look for group, because I thought maybe I'll find something uh, that will drop there. And I remember that it's a really long dungeon and it's got really cool mechanics and, well, nothing happened, you know, we just went in, killed everything, and I, w and I couldn't solo it, so it's relatively hard. And still, as a five-man team, with a bunch of nubs that don't know the way, we still kind of finished it in, I don't know, ten minutes. And all the mechanics were gone, and it was just like, it was just nuke, 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 nuke the groups, nuke the boss. And people didn't even wait for the story and the discs at the end. And I, I think that that's a bit disappointing to me in these levels. I would, I would really love it if you would meet more people, if something in the social aspect of this game would be revived uh, as part of this, uh, as part of this leveling experience. Um, I don't want to boost the character to level 100 with the, the ex Legion expansion that I got, and then just. Uh, everyone's gonna boost the demon hunter obviously I, I don't want to do that and and then just do the new content because then it's another pissing contest it's a, just another race to get to this new cap level and new cap item level and and so on and I don't believe that the fun is just in there I don't believe that the fun is just at the end content I believe that the fun is in the exploring. I mean, I love exploring. I just, I would love it if there were other people where I'm doing that, you know? I mean, maybe, maybe Azeroth has become too big for its own good. I don't know. Um, yeah, let, let me know what you think about this. You know, this is just me ranting uh, about uh, grinds that I actually enjoy in the end. Um, I don't know. I'll see. Maybe that maybe there will be something uh, interesting in this uh, in this dungeon soloing. It's just it's just like a personal achievement in a way. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. On on the bright side of this grind, though, is that you find a shitload of cool gear and. People with a new transmog system are looking for old gear to fill up their uh, their achievements, and it sells for a shitload of money. So, you know, as as a hard mode guide, not using any of my other and any of my other characters' gold, that that is fun because you make a shitload of money on auction house, and it's nice to come and see that some recipe that you find from some random. Uh, NPC in in the ferals suddenly sells for 500 gold, you know. Uh, and another uh, recipe that I want to keep is worth like 3,000 gold, you know. It's fun, and but it's kind of, you know, what 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 do I do with it? You know, I mean, I have so much gold now, and what do I do with it? Do, do I buy new daggers for, for this? I mean, in like two hours they will be obsolete. Um, so I can save it for uh, end level and then again it becomes part of that, you know? It used to be that you, uh, you, grind, this, uh, you grind this leveling period with friends and they're kind of oh my god you're you're like five levels ahead of me yeah I'll help you I'll boost you through the here I'll boost you through there yeah I'll show you where this quest is and where that quest was and you know as before Jamie's horde leveling guide and stuff like that and before uh, Blizzard uh, like uh, uh, gave you uh, to-do lists with arrows that show you where the fuck you need to go I mean it was like, what the hell does he mean with, with like, after the second hill, go to the southwest, you know? You had to actually get oriented and, and understand where you are. And if you were leveling with someone else, then that made the experience so much more amazing. And then if you found some awesome piece of gear that you don't need, you wouldn't sell it on Auction House. You'd, you'd give it to your friend because, oh my god, he's looking for that sword for ages now. And then you can suddenly, you know, you can give him that sword and he's gonna be super happy. So, again, 
yeah, it's fun to find this cool gear and you can sell it for shitloads of gold and yeah, uh, that, that, that will help you along the game and it will help you at the end game. Uh, but again, it's kind of missing this social aspect of, uh, of just exploring the world with someone else. And I, I must say that this look for group insta insta dungeons with people that barely say hello it just it doesn't cover that it just it doesn't do it for me so just before I leave and uh, I don't want to leave you on a, on a down tone uh, I just want to say that I am enjoying this leveling I'm enjoying it more than grinding Tanan jungle for the fifth time and I am enjoying this new uh, rogue and his new specs and build. It's super fun. It's, uh, it, it's like learning this character all over again. And I am gonna do some solo dungeons because that's where I can really understand where this uh, character is strong and where it's weak. And I hope you, I hope you enjoy that type of content. Uh, and let me know if, if that's what you want to see. Let me know if, if you like that. Thanks for joining me, Rogfluff out.